I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Just say no to zombie Christianity. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. Higher Things is a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, to, to saving our church's youth. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It's available on every platform, every platform. Donate. Your tax-deductible gift helps children stay in the faith. And who doesn't want that? I know you'll give today. Link in the description. Zombie Christianity. What is zombie Christianity? Well, um, that's not my fault. He didn't get up. Zombie Christianity is staying in the death, not forgiving, not absolving. What I mean by that is we go to church, we go to Sunday school, we learn about forgiveness. We could live our lives hearing that our sins are forgiven. But when someone sins against us, we set them up for failure. We tell them that what they've done wrong, but don't forgive them. We tell them what they get wrong, but don't let them fix it. We let them live dead, even though we don't. And we refuse to give back to them mercy. And so all that they're left with is stuck in the tomb and prison of death. Jesus doesn't live this way. He takes your sins and he won't give them back. He takes your death and gives you life. He takes the grave and says you're freed from it. He won't give back your sins. He died for them. And the gospel of this is when the devil, the world, and your sinful nature whisper to you what you've done and how you can't be, be forgiven. Jesus, you can look at them and say, Jesus has my sins. I don't know what you're talking about and he won't give them back to me. So he certainly isn't going to give them back to you to taunt me with them. Now, if this is true for you, if Jesus has your sins and he died for them and he's taken them away and he won't give them back, can you do the same for others? Can you forgive folks that have wronged you? Can you absolve them when they've hurt you? Can you let them off the hook or give them a way to fix it if they've wronged you in some way? Don't force others to live in a death that you don't live in. Forgive, have mercy. Because what you're saying to folks that you don't forgive is that Christ died for all, but he didn't die for you. Christ had mercy on all, but he doesn't have mercy on you. Christ forgives all, but he doesn't forgive you. That's horrifying. And you will find also that the Lord says that if you don't forgive others, you won't forgive them. See, when you, when you hold them in their place of death, you join them in that place. Whether you hold, are holding them because you're too hurt to forgive or whether you want to exercise power over them and keep them walking on, on or you want to set them up for failure or you're just so hurt by the whole thing that no one can make it any better. What you're doing is living in death the death that you put them in. It's not worth going to hell over. I don't want them to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. So I'll gladly forgive and do good to those who sin against me. Zombie Christianity, just say no to it. It's a killer. See what I... I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.